Oh, well, today it's going to be an easy day. We have Photon Hypernova that I got from the NAWCQ. Beautiful box, one of my favorite sets to open. Been reprinted into Oblivion. It's probably going to be hit in the tens, but we're going to open this bad boy today. And if I remember correctly, we got this beautiful number 92 Heart Earth Dragon from Millennium Rare's Ghost Game again, I believe. Pretty sure, 99% sure this, this one came from uh, Millennium Rare's. A little bit of scuffing on the foiling, but it's a ghost rare. It's to be expected, but man, the way they did their ghost foiling back then was so pretty compared to what we have now. It's definitely a little bit more 3D art gorgeous in the right light <clears throat> let's see if we can get us starlight I think most Photon Hypernova boxes are sitting around 70 something dollars right now. So along with that Duelist Nexus that I got at the, at the uh, tournament, I also had to grab me one of these. Beautiful. How you feeling today? I am freshly showered. Nice and clean. And ready for a beautiful day of work after we crack this awesome box. We got Intimidating Ore, Gigantic Thundercross, Photon Emperor, Kashtira Overlap, and Dogmatica Albazoa. Tally ho! Alright, we got XYZ Align, Land Flippin', Numeron Creation, Evil Eyes Unleashed, and Apophis the Swamp Deity. <laughs> yeah, the last uh, the last video was definitely a little, a little rough. That's why I also really, really enjoy opening boxes, because... You have guaranteed rarities, right? Like two secret rares, four ultra rares, possibility of a starlight rare. Uh, blisters, you get no such comfort whatsoever. It's all random. There's no way to tell if you're going to get anything good or anything value at all. All right, we got the bullfighter bard. Our first ultra. Was Quim? Was Quim and Photon Hypernova? Cartesia? I know there's some branded stuff in here. You know, we're gonna. It's just a little bit. There we go. Giant ball game. Yagurimaru. Chaos Beast. Light up the branded. All right, Gold Pride was in here. All right, Numeron Creation, Evil Eyes Unleashed, Giant Ball Game, Yagura Maru, and Abyss Actors Dress Rehearsal. Tealerments, Kashtira. Kashtira was rocking the uh, the meta at this point in time. Oh, speaking of, Scareclaw Kashtira, Gishki Grimness, Branded Befallen, Meteor Rush, and Kashtira Theosis. Kashtira was like you you rang. Beautiful secret rare. I don't think I've pulled many of these. 
if at all. Is Chaos Angel in this set? No, oh, I don't think so. Yeah, Gurumaru, Biscuit, Land Flipping, Wilton Emperor, and Abyss Dragon, Sword Soul. Hell of Chaos, Dynamondo, Geo the Gravity Ninja, Abyss Script, and Gold Pride Nitro Head. Puzzle Trips. Hmm. Gigantic Thundercross, Core of Chaos, Shell of Chaos, Dynamondo, and Bergram, Shield Emperor of the Forest Crown. Don't think either one of those ultras are very good, but we'll see when I prize everything up. Diabolantis, the Menacing Mantis. Galaxy 100. I love that name, that's fun. Diabolantis, the Menacing Mantis. Intimidating Ore. Gigantic Thundercross. And green ninja. Not blue ninja, not red ninja, not white ninja, not black ninja, not yellow. Green. Geo the Gravity Ninja. Abyss Script. Deo Galantis. Galaxy 100. And Tri Brigade Arms Bucephalus the Second. I think that one might be a dollar or two. And we got Photon Emperor, Keshtira Overlap, Abyss Actor Super Producer, Bastille Ball Drake, and Arctos 12, Chrono Chasm Valance. Meteor Rush, Land Flipping, Branded Fallen, Kashtiria, Scareclaw Kashtiria, and Sneaky Seat. Gis uh, Gishki Grimness, Kashtira Overlap, Galaxy 100, Chaos Beast, and Chaos Witch. Boy, isn't she pretty. Light of the Branded, Abyss Script, Dramatic, dramatic Story, Grimness, Overlap. Hey, our buddy Kashtira Riseheart. Nice. Definitely one of the better ultras out of the set, I believe. Everybody has all these issues with, with meta stuff, and while I don't compete, I do play on Master Duel, and I do watch a lot of competitive play. And yeah, all of these people going, I'm quitting, I'm quitting, I'm quitting, price support sucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't need to... It's not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Uh, Dynamondo. Bistial Baldrick. Abyss Actor. XYZ Online. And another Nitro Head. Uh, while I don't compete at the moment, that's because I do not have a locals to go to. Oh, we just noticed he's number 62 down there. Oh, that's cool. Um... But I believe I just saw on the Konami store locator that there is a new shop in Hutto that is registered as a tournament location. So if they do actually host tournaments, hopefully we can uh, help them get things started. Bistial Baldrick and Galactic Karibo. 
But I remember when I was competing way back in the OG days in what you guys consider, um, oh, what do y'all call it? Goat format. Um, I think it was Labyrinth of Nightmare was coming out and all of my card values were dropping. They were doing reprints, yada, 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 all this other stuff. And I was like, oh my God, the game's dying. Well, here we are 25 years, oh no, 18, 17, 18 years later, collecting once again. And uh, it's still valuable, it's still competitive, and it's still collectible. So I honestly don't think that this game is going to go anywhere for a little while. Oh, right. Pressure Planet Ratesoth. This would be fantastic if it didn't just get seven different rarities in Rarity Collection 2, I believe. But as far as I'm concerned, these cards are still gorgeous. The gameplay is actually still a lot of fun and interesting. And uh, I plan on collecting at least for the next 10 years as long as uh, they keep producing cards. I, I feel about after 10 years, I should probably be pretty, pretty satisfied with my collection. And if I am, sell it off and, you know, enjoy what I've made for the rest of my life. Uh, or uh, y'all can just cremate with cremate me with it because I ain't got no kids. So who's going to get my cards? Horror of Chaos, Thundercross, Yagaromaru, and Choju of the Trillion Hands. But yeah, hopefully Yu-Gi-Oh! stays an active TCG for at least the next 10 years. Power Creep has been a thing since the OG days. Horrible formats are always going to be a thing. And cards are always going to be expensive. That's why this is a hobby. Not an investment. Meteor Rush Monocroid. Diabolantis. Core of Chaos. And Gold Pride. Captain Carry. Another failed TCG exclusive. But hey, they tried. I mean, Rollerballer and, and, you know, a few of those other cards seem pretty interesting, but they just, uh, just didn't do enough. Seminite, Monocroid, Land Flipping, and Chaos, Mirage Dragon. Oh, two more. Can we get a Starlight? Gigantic Thundercross, Yagura Maru, Photon Emperor, Intimidating Ore, Baronic Advent. No way. Um. You know, this is certainly a, a way to start my, my day for the this week. We got one, two, three, four. Is it four from the back? Okay, good. Well, boys and girls, we have found a Starlight Rare. Uh, I'm actually, wow, I'm going to start sweating here in a second. I was not expecting this before I start my work day. Uh... I don't even know what it could be right now. It's been so long since I've opened Fight Photon Hypernova. Oh man, if it's a Mirror Jade, I am going to scream. I apologize for anybody's ears. Scareclaw defanging. Photon Time Stop. Circle of the Fairies. Kashtira Big Bang. Branded Fallen. Scareclaw Kashtira. Light of the Branded. Abyss Script Dramatic Story. It's an Xyz. Is it? Is it? A, is it another Kashtira Rice Heart? I have a Starlight of this already. Yep. Wow. Look how beautiful Starlights are. 
holy shit, you can actually read the name. I remember the first time I pulled this, this starlight. I think it was sitting at about $250. I was like, holy crap, I'm not going to play this. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to use this money to further the channel. And I listed it. And then it immediately fell down to, I think it got put on the ban list. And it immediately fell down to like, oh, 60 bucks from 260 within like a week or two. It absolutely crashed on the market, shot the bed, it is dead. And there have been a couple of times where I've asked, Konami, please unban Cash to your Tears Heart. I don't play it, but if you want a fun format, you know what? Unban tier laments, unban cash tira, unban a lot of these really high high skill cap and really fun decks, and just let everybody waylay each other. I think it would be a hilarious format, um, and actually probably would encourage me to play. I mean, you know, you have somebody that you have decks now that summon five billion times. Well, you can't do that if you're missing all of your zones. I'm just saying, Konami, there is a fix. Unban all your top decks. All the most broken bullshit. And just let everybody have fun. I, as a branded player, I know I would have no chance. But watching the fallout would be hilarious. Holy shit. One box from a tournament that I bought at a table for 55 bucks. And we pulled a starlight. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is my second. That's my second Arise Heart too. Um, wow. I was not expecting that, obviously. You get a Starlight one every one to two cases, so that's every 12 to 24 boxes, and I bought one random box. Oh, and I didn't wear the crown. Maybe I don't need the crown. All right, yeah, I'm rambling now. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go have a fantastic and amazing day at work, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.